everyone, my name is Serum Belize and welcome to Total War Rome 2, the Emperor's Edition. Now today I'll be playing the new campaign, Imperator Augustus, and I'll be playing on the Legendary Difficulty. And not only do you get a Legendary Campaign, but I'll be talking about Roman history, or to be more exact, the history of Gaius Julius Octavius. Now over here I'll be playing as Octavian's room as I said, and now we'll begin our campaign in just a moment. When I begin the actual campaign, there will be a cinematic, and if you would like to watch it, you can. If you would like to skip it, please feel free to. But I'll be very quiet during that cinematic, that way if you haven't seen it, you can enjoy it and have a great time watching epic happenings. Well, happen. Alright, the corpse of an enemy always smells sweet. You're a nasty emperor, and I do not like you. <laughs> no, I can understand that. Now enjoy. God smile on you, Octavian. You're a good soldier. I'm a politician. We don't need more politicians. It's not more speeches in the Senate that will change the world. Rome is dying. Why do you think Caesar favored you so? I was loyal. No, Octavian. He saw in you the potential to continue his legacy. Not to follow him, but to exceed him. Antony cannot be trusted. His heart lies in Egypt. We must confront the reality that civil war is inevitable. And how will bloodshed save the people of Rome? You are not meant to save them. You are meant to lead them. All men are troubled when their moment has come. I am not Caesar. I don't have his strength. The people loved him, and they will love you. You can't think like an ordinary man. You must reach beyond mortal ambition and do what has never been done. Survive, my son. Rome must have a master. Man, talk about the pressure put on my shoulders, right? <laughs> Alright, let's get to the campaign. Now, I'll save my historical chats for whenever I'm actually in a battle. Yeah, thank you, Voice in the Sky. Okay, so here's my first job here. I need to control many locations, and I will. But for the moment, we need to look at the actual map. So, let's see. Lepidus would be over in Iberia, way over here. And then we would have Mark Anthony over to the east, and Sextus Pompey right down here. Alright, very well. Now, I need to build up my first legion over in Roma. That's very important to me. I'll work on, hmm, civil technology. That's what I'll do. Or actually, hold on. I should probably work on a, a battery ram and then potentially ammunition stores. Defensive technology will help me out a lot in a legendary campaign. All right, so in Roma, what shall I do today? I shall probably pick up, hmm, a few legionaries. That might be nice. There we go. All right. Now, if we look at my provinces, I have a lot of locations where people are very unhappy, and I understand that. That will change over time. I'll even increase my garrisons to make them even happier. Like over here in Genoa, here comes my fleet. Done. Uh, not too happy, but that will change over time. Alright, now I know that I have one legion over here in Bergala. Hello there. They're not fully of my culture. I should probably change that. Yeah, we'll do that now. Done. Okay. Let's go look at diplomacy. That's very important to me too. So right now we're part of the second triumvirate. So we do not have a war with Lepidus or even Mark Anthony. That will happen in time, but not right now. Okay, so they do hate me quite a bit. We have a cultural aversion. We're not really people who get along very well. All right, let's see. Here's Gaul. They are my client are state. Welcome. A trade All agreement, very good. I'll take that, thank you. Let's go over here. Do you like me? We are trading. The Iceni, they too shall trade with you me, and they will love it. Alright. What about the, the Belgi? Yeah, there are client states as well. So I have a lot of client states right now. I control a lot of Europe, and that will be very nice for me. Why? Well, I'll be able to focus upon maybe Mark Anthony, but my first target will probably be Sextus Pompeius, or Pompey, down here. Alright, Helvetti. You're also my client state again, a trade agreement. 
that will produce a lot of trade and a lot of money for me to have for future campaigns. I need to invest in my infrastructure early on. That way I'm able to really just make a lot of money. Alright, the Nore too. You're fighting who? No one. Alright, there we are. A non-aggression pact. I'll take that. Oh, you won't do that, but it's okay. Okay, so, hold on. I'm not quite done yet. What about Mark Anthony? Will you trade with me? You won't. What about a non-aggression pact? Would you do... Th well, let's see. We have a defensive alliance. How nice of you. <laughs> that should be sufficient right now. Alright, let's go ahead and move on. Bergala, you're not too happy. I could upgrade your weapons, but eh. I'll wait on that too. I have very little money, and I should probably end my turn right now, but where's my agent? I should have one. Here we go. I'll bring you over to Roma. That way you can train up my first legion, led by, you know who, Gaius Julius Octavius. Alright, here we go. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Edicts are also very good. I want tax harvesting for even more money. And then over here, even more money. Alright. Oh, before we do that, let's go look over here. Alright, so here's our new political screen. We have politics, and I have quite a bit of influence over here in the Senate. Not enough, but quite a bit. Here's my character. I can promote him, so I will. Done. My records, and then blah, blah, blah. Alright, let's end that turn. How would you like your defeat commemorated? Oh, really, Pompey's room? That was unwise of you, but okay. Apparently, Anthony and Lepidus would not like to join me. That's unfortunate, but it was really foreseen. That was a natural consequence of them not really sharing much love for me. Alright. My legion will now move out of Roma. Yeah, they'll be happy enough in time. Alright, here we go. I should probably recruit even more. I'll need potentially a garrison at my borders to defend against... The other members of the triumvirate. Alright, let's see. I could use more Velites. They're very handy, very powerful. Their javelins can pierce armor and just do a lot of damage. Alright, let's see. I'm making a great deal of money. I should be fine. Right, another temple might be nice. Hold on, let's go look around here real quick. I make the most money over in Latium, which makes sense to me. I'll build a fishing port. I'll focus on that province first, and then I'll focus on the other ones as well. A market settlement that will give me quite a bit of money, so I'll take that too. And then over here, a large vineyard. I like that. Done. Okay, I'm expanding my garrisons, which I should do more of, potentially in Bergala. Alright, so what do I want you to have today? I want you to have more Velites. That is too good. Alright, we'll end this turn. I wonder... If Pompey would actually move into the boot of Italy to try to stop me, he might. He might do that, but for now, I can only focus upon building up my main legion. There we go. I want ammunition stores next, and why do I want that? Well, let's go look at it real quick. I'll get quite a bit of ammunition, and that would be very nice for me to have. For my towers, or whatever. My units, I should say. Alright, so now I'll give you champion. That's for my own hero, or my own champion. Or a veteran should be the right term. Alright, so now I could probably use more legionaries or even cavalry. One, two, three, four. And then I'll take two first cohorts or just one. Yeah, that will be my full legion for now. We'll have more variety over time. We just can't have that right now. We're a little bit preoccupied with trying to survive. That's how I see it anyway. Alright, so Latium is fine. They are complacent. Cisalpina, they're not happy and I need to fix that. So I'll fix it now by building a temple of Neptune. Okay, let's end that turn. That's all that we can do right now. We're on the legendary difficulty, so we must be cautious. We must take our time. If I rush into combat, every which way I go, I mean, I'll be in trouble. I'll have nothing but war. I'll work on military development right now. And then after I get my siege capabilities up, and also, you know, my ballista, then I can begin to work upon my civil development, which is very important to me. Alright, let's see. We'll do a force march over to Cosentia. Done. We have one full legion. I might even need more in time. A fleet would be quite beneficial, but not yet. I'll wait on that. Okay, I could upgrade that village. What else should I upgrade? I should probably build another legion when I think about it. Who shall lead that legion? It'll be you. I like you, Lucius. Alright, let's see. I'll have you on horseback. And then I'll have you recruit a few new units. There we go. And then I need to invest in my lands a little bit more. I'll take up another, or one civil settlement over here in Latium. 
Now we get in this turn too, and I know my people are very unhappy, but I should be able to counter that in many locations. Now there's only one location where I'm making less than 50 this coins per turn. Sure thing, that's fine with me. I would like to have one major battle in this part. If it will happen, I have no clue, but we'll find out. Alright, let's see, my champion, or my veteran is doing quite well, good work. I would like for you to take out that spy though, she's quite annoying, could you do that for me champion? Probably, let's find out. I'll have you get right over here. Okay. Now could you... Ah, there we, there we go, single combat. Now she's wounded, oh, <laughs> never mind. My veteran is wounded, that caught me off guard. You just got knocked out, buddy. All right, I'll have you join me. Yeah, it's quite a bit of money, but I do need that money. All right, there's my new legion. It won't take long to build them up, then I'll be able to move on and conquer Bumpy. Okay, there goes my Valites, and what now? What else do I need to do? I need to make my other locations happy. Like over here, I'll build up a temple, I'll build up a shrine of Jupiter, done. I have more money, I'll expand that location, build up a meeting place, again, that will make them happier. And we're done once more, it's in that turn. I should probably move him out of a forest march stance, but I wanted to try to lure them over to me. If that will happen, I have no clue, but we'll find out in time. I'm glad the turns pass by so quickly, that's very nice. Alright, so now we can work upon what now? Uh-huh. I could grab that. I mean, if I grab that too, I wouldn't lose any men, I believe, whenever I'm besieged, and that would be incredible. So it will take a few turns, sure, but I mean, if they besiege me, I'll be able to have a lot of advantageous, I guess, power. Alright, you can come train me. Let's move you up now. You can't even move up. That agent is really debilitating me in the very beginning. I should probably recruit a spy to help me out. Yeah, I'll have you try to help kill her. She bothers me a lot. Yep, join me, buddy. Done. Maybe one more spy. Done again. Alright, yeah, they will help out a lot. And here's my legion. Again, I need to make sure I have enough men to help me out in my battles. One, two, three. And then one. What's in that turn? So after this next turn, I'll have another full legion. And then I'll be able to have two legions marching upon Pompey. Now, I doubt he has the financial capability that I do, so he will not take long to defeat. And we have another event popping up. Ah, oh, hello there, Amatia, Tiberta. What are you doing today? Oh. You attacked a senator. I will praise her. We have to be daring during this time. Alright, I'll promote you, Marcus. Ah, Agrippa. <laughs> I see. Alright. I shall recruit a few more now. That's all that I can do. We'll have that variety later. Not today, but later. Should probably expand my buildings elsewhere. They're not happy here yet, but they're okay. They're not quite too happy here. I'll build an auditorium. Italia, again, they're okay. Over here, not so okay. Gallia, very unhappy. Uh-oh. Now, I do make money here. My other two locations I could lose, and I would be okay with that idea. I mean... I wouldn't like that, but it wouldn't harm me too much, but Bibrocht is a little bit more important to me. But I do only control one location there, so again, I mean, I could lose it and be okay, but no, I think I will. Oh, here we go. He's very good at that. Hey, you can come help me here. Veteran Legionaries, good. Come inside and recruit a few levies, and that will be all that you need to do. Well, in that turn. Poppy's really avoiding direct combat with me. I find it surprising. Oh, someone's gone up in level. But don't worry, we'll burn them all to the ground in just a little while. You're fighting who? You're fighting the Dacians, alright? Well, I will let you ally me. I do like you. Or at least I'll let you have military access and that would be sufficient. Those two are no longer allied. I wonder if they'll fight soon. Vicious words, huh? What's happening over here? I've gained quite a bit of influence. Oh, good. So that event worked in my favor. Okay, now they have a massive army, so I'll go towards Panormis over here. And I'll ignore that main settlement for now. I can always take it later. Here's a champion for me. Now my other legion, they can actually move down here now. Let's move down here. Alright, I have another veteran who will join this army and train them up. 
And then all of my two spies actually attack that spy over here. Let's try to have her wounded or killed. If we can it anyway. Come on now. There we go. Very nice work. I uh, like you, Kalidia. Okay, what should I give you today? I'm going to give you... Spy. Alright. Teradai, I want you to come down here and actually poison that army. They have way too many men. Way too many. But you failed, unfortunately. Hopefully in time she'll be able to... Oh, hello. You have a lot of... Vigilies. Right, I still have more money. I should probably spend it. To make money, I need to spend money. Alright, let's see. Belgica. I don't care for that location. It's way too poor for me. That location... Eh. I'll let it stay away for now. I'll conquer new locations that I can control and maintain peace in. Alright, there's a military settlement here, which is nice, but not really what I need right now. But I guess I'll keep it for now. Alright, here we go. A few more people for you. We'll go down over here to Bertigala. I'll build another temple to convert their culture. Done. What else can I do? Can I build up more stuff? Probably not. Let's find out. No, not really. Is that turn? I guess I could talk a little bit about history. So, Gaius Julius Octavius was born in 63 BC. He was the grandnephew of Julius Caesar through his mother's side. Now, his mother was the daughter of Julia, the sister of Caesar. Alright, here we go. Now, he would begin his military career over whenever he would help out Caesar in Iberia. Now, that was during a Roman civil war, because you have to keep in mind that it was in 49 BC that Caesar would cross the Rubicon and cause quite a few issues over in the Roman Empire, or currently the Roman Republic. That would be the proper term to use. And here's their big legion. Wow, look at that. They're coming to play with me. You also have to keep in mind that a military career over in Rome would be synonymous with a political career. I mean, that's just how it all worked there. All right, here's a spy for you, and I need to bring down my legion again. So come down to play, and I'll let you take over a town. Okay. Oh, hello. Who's that? Lepidus, you're over here already? Wow. <laughs> I don't like that one bit. Now, can I auto-resolve and be okay? 90%. That's not too bad. I'll take it. It's a very basic battle. I'll occupy that location. Very good. Gaius Octavius is now ranked 2. Alright, so for skills, what shall I give to you today? I will give to you commander, and you'll be a great commander for your people. Alright, let's see. You've been weakened. Very good. I should be able to fight them in an open battle and win that battle if I want to. Alright, we're not happy down here, are we? We're not? No. What about in Belgica? Not so happy. I'm going to lose that location soon in a massive rebellion. Germania Minor. I didn't want to lose that one, but we're about to have a rebellion again. I'll probably reconquer it later. But I'm busy right now spinning on other locations. Like down here. No, they'll be happy in one turn. So let's go back to Latium and work on that area. So I want a location that's giving me more money. Or actually, a nice recruitment area too would be nice. So I guess I'll do that. We'll take up a little Mars. Done. I'll expand over here in Roma. And we'll take up, let's see... A Roman Ballista would be very nice. Yeah, I'm going to lose a lot... Well, not lose, but use Latium as a recruitment area for now. I'll change that later. Oh, hello. War Dogs. I do like that as well. But again, I need more money. Alright, so we'll build up a villa. Not only do I need money, but I need food. That area as well. I'll build up, let's see, a Suburbia. And now we can end this turn. Or actually, can I reach that? No, I cannot reach there. Legion right now. Okay, but yeah, so he would serve Caesar over in 46 BC when he was very young. It would be over in 44 BC when Caesar would be assassinated and Octavius would be 19 and currently in Apollonia. He would leave Apollonia and move directly to Rome where he would begin to reprimand not only the attackers of Caesar but also Mark Anthony for not acting enough. Yeah, sure, non aggression pact would be fine, sure. But yeah, so he would denounce them, and that would cause a little bit of tension between Mark Anthony and Gaius Octavius. Alright, let's see. Lepidus, you're doing your own thing, and here's Pompey again. I could go after that major army they have. That wouldn't be a bad idea. Good work. You poisoned them? Let's have you move down and poison them, too. Nice work. Now they're much weaker, or they should be. Could you reach that army? You could not. Darn. That would have been great if you could. 
but I know you can't. Alright, well, what can I do for you then? I guess I'll give to you a new skill, Strength. And then my new Legion over here will come down to fight. Mercenaries would be nice. Ooh, hello. Gladiators. But they're quite expensive. Even though they are very mighty in battle. Wow. They're very mighty. Let's go fight our first battle now, right over here. Alright, Poppy. Prepare to die. Let's go kill him. Okay. So let's get straight into battle. And in our next part, I'll go on a little bit more about what Octavian would do right after he's in Roma and he's elected as a consul. Uh, here's some fog over here. I should probably get rid of that. That's my view on it. Goodbye, fog. I don't need your pea soup ways here. Rain. Ah, fine. We'll keep it dramatic. Alright, here's my legendary battle. I might keep my formation as it is. I do like it quite a bit. Oh, hello. I found you. How's it going? They have a lot of levies, but I mean, I have Velites. Alright, what should I do for all of you? Attacking Testudo, that might be a good option. Will it help against missiles? Yeah, it will. Alright. I guess I will. Alright, let's move up now. I'll probably fast forward for the moment just because, I mean, why not? We're not really in battle yet, are we? Alright, so my soldiers are moving up. Here's all my legionaries moving up right now. It's a beautiful, rainy day. A perfect time to bleed my foes. I mean, would I want to use rain or potentially to blood my foes to, I don't know, water my beautiful garden? I'm using the term beautiful a lot today. I don't know why. I don't know why. I just feel up to it. That's my term. That's my word of the day. Ah! And right, here comes their allies. I wonder if they'll come fight me after they come to play again. Okay, so we can throw our own Pila, and that's quite nice. I'm very glad they changed that up to where now we can throw Pila. That means that I'll be a much greater threat to my foes in battle. Right, let's move up a little bit more. Do they have any horsemen? Yeah, they do. Hello there, Magnus. Okay, so we can go after them right now. I suppose I will. Alright, let's see. Felites, I want you to move up now. Move up over here. Let's see. Horsemen, move up as well. I'll let you do that. Right flank, I'll have you move up. In just a moment here. Ah, oh, they have Tarantines. Okay. I see now. And then Legionnaires in the very middle. Let's have all of you move up. Or actually tilt a little bit, if you don't mind. Yeah, like that. Alright, like it's just I'll have you move over here to the right flank. Here's my Velites again. Oh, man, they're firing at me. That was quick. Alright, so as we fire, we're getting. Oh yeah, let's all get in position here. Velites move up, as I said. You need to hurry up and get over here. Come on now. It's taking way too long. Oh, yeah, we'll definitely be in range to be hit by their attacks, unfortunately. No, don't run away. Stay here and fire. Alright, let's see. Look at this, I'll let you stay here for now. My horsemen are way over here. Let's go after their Tarantines. Alright, let's see. Legionaries, you are all locked in formation. I'll let you throw your Pila for now, if you can. I'll let these guys go after the Tarantines. I mean, they're throwing a lot of javelins. That's very nasty. We're killing their Vigiles or Vigiles or whatever over here. I haven't played as Roman in a long time, so this might be a little bit different for me. Definitely a little bit different. Okay. Legionaries, move in now. You're in a locked formation, so they should just go after whoever. And that's fine with me. Hold on. These two, I don't want them to just stack up on one foe. That would be a very bad choice. And get fight over here. Get fighting over here. Very good. Let's go after their levies as well. Alright, I want my legates to move up a little bit. I want these guys to move up as well. I want to try to, you know, surround them and really break them down like that. Their Tarantines are all over, though. I don't like that. Actually, go back here. Horsemen, thank you. And go back here. Come on. There we go. Alright, my other horsemen, I'll have them move over here and go after their levies. Alright, Velites move up. I need to go after these Tarantines. They keep attacking me. That's really annoying. Alright, let's go watch the battle. Oh, look at you, Pompey. You thought you had a chance. Well, you are done goofed. You don't have a chance at all. You are done goofed. Alright, here's my Velites again. We have fire at their levies, and that would not be a bad thing for me. Let's go over here and hit them from behind. 
I mean, they have a nice, strong group of men here, so I should be able to take them on. All right, legionaries move over here. We'll flank them again. You guys can stay here. I'll go and war cry. We'll try to make their, you know, legionaries quite unhappy. All right, let's see, break them. What's happening back here? Let's see, horsemen, I need all of you to get out of here. You can't stay in a prolonged battle like that. That would negate your advantage. I right, go after the Tarantines, my Velites. Yeah, they're coming after me now. Hopefully not in a melee attack. That would be annoying. Am I losing here? No, I'm not. Good. Okay, look at this. I want you to go after who? Not Magnus, no, but go hit these guys from behind. That should work out. There we go. Maybe they'll waver and break eventually. Oh, one group of mine has broken. Oh, they did in fact charge at me. Damn. Hold on. Let's go over here and fight them. You can go here. You can go over here. Okay, go after them. I didn't think they would actually do that, but they did. All right, let's see. And not having a mini map, I'll have to adjust to that. I'm not used to it, but I'll really have to get used to it if I want to do well in this battle. Uh-oh, hold on. They're doing a little bit too well for me. All right, let's move down here now and go after Magnus. If we kill him, we'll be okay. We'll definitely be okay. All right, go kill the Tarantines if you don't mind. Horsemen, come down. We'll go fight somewhere. Hold on. Go after some levies in a moment. Right, we haven't broken them all yet. Right, let's see. How's the battle doing for us? Not too well. We're having a very tough time, it looks like. Yep, my men are pretty spread out right now. Shame on me. I'm a little bit outnumbered, too, so that does not help out. All right, Valetes, come on now. I need you to move on to the main battle. We can finish them off for sure. Yeah, it's my first battle in Legendary without a mini-map, so I'm having to really watch how to play the game. It's been a while since I've had a nice challenge like that. Oh, actually, go up here and kill these Legionaries. There's too many of them. If we get right behind them, we'll destroy them completely. All right, am I still alive? I hope so. Yep, good, I'm still alive. I like that. <laughs> All right, they're wavering. They're not done for yet, though. All right, here's my Legionary Cavalry. Are you, all right, you should be firing, right? You should be right behind them, hitting them. There we go. Nice work. That should really freak them out. I hope so. All right, let's see. Move over here. Help me out. All of you move over here. Help me out some more. There's my horsemen again. I want all my horsemen together. Let's all move over here, and then we'll charge at the behind just a little while. All right, let's see. What's my other Velites? Oh, here they are. Okay. Ah, there's Magnus again. It took a moment to find him, but he's right here. All right, let's go fight him. That's the one that needs to die. All right, I'll let these Velites go help out too. Yeah, go hit these Velijes or Velijes. Oh man, I'm getting all tongue-tied here. Yeah, there's all my horsemen. I'll charge at them in just a moment. I'm trying to get Magnus. Again, once he dies, we'll be okay. We'll be able to handle these problems. All right, let's see. Horsemen move over here. I believe they're all beginning to waver now. Yeah, they were a lot tougher than I really anticipated. All right, Legatus, let's move back now. Move back, Legatus. You don't need to be in a prolonged battle. All right, here's my first cohort. My really elite soldiers. Yeah, they should be able to tear up whoever. Oh, good. They're all breaking now. I can now route them. And in a great route, well, it comes a lot of casualties, too. Man, they're pushing hard. Would you hurry up and die, all of you? There we go. That should be about it. All right, over here, let's go kill these veteran legionaries. They're also very tough. That's another bodyguard that I need to beat around. All right, there we are again. We've killed off most of them now. We can chase after them and make sure they're all done for after this battle. about the veteran legionaries yeah they're all broken we just won the battle that was great all right so I'll select all control G and let them just go to town after pressing F to put them all into melee mode and chase after whoever you can we'll fast forward and try to kill a few more that was very bloody but we got rid of their entire legion and even a secondary force so I should be able to take out Syracuse unless Lepidus tries to hop over there and take that location from me Man, that was really savage. I'll have to be a lot more careful in the future. I thought it would be a very simple battle, but I was completely wrong about that. 
We still won, though. We still killed many of them. Let's see. Their horsemen did quite well. It's because, well, they went after my Valites. There we go. Goodbye, Pompey Magnus. Get out of here, buddy. Most of that legion is dead now. I should be able to go after Syracuse. I wonder if that was part of their garrison force. It should have been. I could even hire some mercenaries. Control A for control all. Control M to combine. Okay, I could hire some mercenaries to help me out. That would be expensive, but probably quite good. Let's see. Campanian cavalry. They're very good. I like them a lot. Here's some more hoplites over here. I'll take these guys. I'll take some of those guys too. Again, very expensive, but I should be able to take out Syracuse in just a moment here. Yeah, here's a big battle. So I'll auto resolve it. Like that. Now, I would enslave them, but unfortunately, if I do that, it might cause a few more public order problems. So now we can take Syracuse. That was easy enough. All right. Here's my new lands, and I quite enjoy having these lands. I'll keep my mercenaries for one turn. I mean, they do have one legion over there to the west of me. Here's formidable fighters for my tradition. And then I'll make you a great warrior in battle. Done. Okay, I believe we're now ready to end that turn. That took quite a few moments to complete, but we're ready to move on. I'll take that. And off we go. Yeah, I'm really enjoying the campaign so far. Playing on the legendary difficulty will certainly make it a lot more challenging for me, and I like that a lot. Man, people like me quite a bit, and again, I'm not bothered by that. Mark Anthony should be the challenging one to fight, though. Alright, well, I'll call it here, and I shall see all of you later, and please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and as always, until then...